Guten Morgen. Good morning. Let me say how glad I am uh, to be able to welcome uh, the President of the Swiss Confederation, Mr. Guy Parmelin. Switzerland and the European Union are more than merely neighbors. We have a very close and deep-rooted ties based uh, on our shared European history. Now, of course, uh, geographical proximity does play a role, but much more importantly, we have uh, very close bonds between our citizens, which is why we wish it to ensure that we can provide a stable, comprehensive and coherent framework for these good relations on the basis of an institutional framework agreement. If we are able to set up a homogenous legal framework, we will be able to guarantee the infamous level playing field, which is a basic principle of our internal market. And in addition, we will allow our good bilateral relations to flourish, which is why I am very much looking forward to taking stock today with President Parmelin on the basis of the discussions which our teams have been conducting since January. Now, Switzerland had requested a clarification on three subjects. Firstly, pay and posted workers. Secondly, state aid. And thirdly, the free movement of persons. Now, the European Union has listened very closely to the Swiss position on these subjects. Now, of course, in any negotiations, the last lap is the most difficult to complete. I do, however, think that it should be possible to find compromises and conclude our institutional framework agreement. We just need some flexibility on both sides. This agreement is a key element in our relationship. It is a clear objective on the part of the EU, which is why I am therefore looking forward to holding constructive discussions with President Parmelin today. This is a discussion which shall give fresh impetus to the finalization of the framework agreement in a very brief